So a couple things to go over on pulling a cab on a 2010 to 2013 maybe Ram 3500 uh, with the Cummins. So uh, we'll start up here. I guess it'd be nice if I lowered it down, but anyhow, it gives you a good under view of what's what. So um, you're gonna leave you gonna leave some of the electrical in the vehicle there's body harnesses and stuff like that that's gonna stay and then there is some electrical that's on the engine so I'll show you on the engine um, besides electrical if you want you can leave all of the radiators uh, the turbo intercooler your power steering cooler transmission cooler and your AC condenser those can all stay in the vehicle you also don't have to pull, technically you don't have to pull the grill or the headlights out. That stuff can all stay. Um, fender liners come off just to get in there and do work because you're going to have to get in there to discontinue some, disconnect some stuff. Uh, discontinue some stuff. <laughs> um, like the steering shaft and uh, some other stuff like that. The one thing I do with the brake system on these is... I just take the master cylinder right off and uh, I leave the whole brake system intact. I don't take it apart at all. That way you don't have to bleed the brakes at all. You can see here that I've just taken the ABS unit, pushed it forward a little bit to get it out of the battery tray that it sits in. It sits off to the side. And then you can see you just set the master over here. Um, it's fine, it's not going to hurt the lines at all. Just watch that it doesn't get caught up on stuff. The steering shaft runs right down through here. I was actually able to compress it enough that it just slipped by, uh, slipped by everything. So it doesn't get caught up on anything. Um, but yeah, I like leaving this intact so you don't have to bleed the brakes, don't open the system. The getting over to the engine and stuff. Um, the shift cable for the transmission, that comes undone. This one's a manual shifting transfer case, so that just comes undone. There's just little uh, plastic uh, inserts that slip over these nubs. Well, you just take a pry bar and pop them off, and then these just hang out. Um, yeah, basically, all the intercooler piping stays with the truck. Uh, the fan and the shroud were one of the things that I had to get out of the way, so the fan comes off. By the way, uh, the nut is just a normal right-hand thread nut. It's a 36 millimeter, and I found with a pry bar, I used a shorter pry bar and wedged it in between these nuts, or these bolts here, and then just let it rest against the flywheel, and I was able to get the wrench to break it free. Um, yeah, your cooling system is going to get drained, your air conditioning system is going to get discharged, your, um, you're going to lose some power steering fluid because the cooler lines are down there, they're going to get undone. And then also you got transmission cooler lines here, they're flexible, so yeah, you just, they got the little, uh, the clips that go inside there that like to fly out and never be found again. You take those off and stuff them up in here somewhere so they don't get caught up on anything. Um, as far as fluids, that's about it. You don't have to worry about oil. You don't have to worry about fuel. Um, and then, yeah, cab mount bolts themselves. Oh, yeah, there's your, uh, sorry, uh, your ABS harnesses. Make sure you undo those. Leave the sensor with the frame section of the vehicle and then the body harness itself is going to go with the cab. Um, your battery terminals, you'll have body terminals that are going to go onto the battery terminals. So undo those 10 millimeter nuts and separate them so that the cables stay with the truck. Some of the battery uh, feeds are going to stay with the cab. You'll see, you just look, see what goes where. There's a main harness connector right underneath of the wiper cowl that looks like this. It sits up in there, your wiper cowl runs along. Undo that. And uh, that one piece is gonna be for 
Uh, it looks like it runs down to the transmission, to sensors and whatnot. So that's gonna stay with the truck. The other half stays with the cab. Um, there are two coolant lines for your, that run into the heater core. So you got one here, you can just undo the clip and slide the hose back. And then the one on the passenger side is easy enough to get to. Just simple clamps. Yeah, these are some of the things that I ended up taking off. I tried not to take off uh, as much stuff as I really needed to, but um, the two coolant hoses, I got those out of the way, air box. Um, not the exhaust, that was for a different reason. You don't have to do that to pull the cab. Batteries. Uh, yeah, I took the batteries out just to give myself some working room. You could technically leave them in if you wanted to, I think. Um, and then, what else was I gonna say? There was something else. Oh yeah, six cab mount bolts. They're 18 millimeter, I believe. I'm 99% sure they're 18 millimeter. Um, oh yeah, don't forget too, your, your fan has got electric clutch on it, so you gotta take this connector off when you go to take the fan out. If there's anything else that I'm missing that you wanna know, let me know in the comments. Well, this gives you a rough idea what you might be into if this is your first time or you're looking for some pointers.